What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV Canes, all Canes, all day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. Frank Ponce, come on down, baby. Big shout out to the sponsor of this video, the Patreon Squad, aka the Kane Gang. If you want to become a member of the Kane Gang, get signed up today for extra content. Link in the description and in the pinned comments. Let's get it. All right, guys. So you see what we're talking about here today. Miami hires Appalachian State offensive quarterback Frank Ponce as a quarterback coach as a quarterback coach, not an offensive coordinator. Now, when we were talking about offensive coordinators, his name was brought up for people saying, okay, here's a wild card that we should look at. Here's somebody that we could look at. And he's coming to Miami as a quarterback coach. Spent time at Appalachian state Louisville from Miami worked with Mario at FIU this is a good hire, man. This is a good hire when you have somebody who was an offensive coordinator coming to be your quarterback coach. We are really putting together a real deal staff. We are really, I'm going I'm to be honest with you. Last, the last couple years, I've, we, the content creators, people have been able to predict a lot of the moves the Miami Hurricanes coaching staff has been able to make, you know, oh, you know, well, what about Blake Baker coming? Oh, well, what about this coach? What about that coach? There's been very predictable moves made. The stuff that's happening these last couple of days is stuff that I never even dreamt of. You wouldn't have told me. You could have asked me yesterday, who's going to be our quarterback coach? I heard somebody say we should have Malik Rozier as quarterback coach. And I'm not trying to disrespect Malik Rozier because he has been working with quarterbacks. But Mario says, how dare you guys think so small? You're thinking small ball. You're thinking small-minded. We're in the big leagues now. I'm going to get an offensive coordinator to take a lesser role and become quarterback coach. I, I, I'm, just, I'm honestly shocked by this news. Now, this is a good hire. This is a guy who worked with uh, Mikhail Cunningham at Louisville. We've seen him improve. Um, he helped Chase Bryce set records at Appalachian State. And Chase Bryce is doo-doo. He is Dude, dude, he had one good drive for Clemson, went to Duke. You saw how we did him at Duke. And then he went to Appalachian State, and he broke records under Frank Ponce. Listen, man, this is this is crazy. So the impact of this hire is we're putting together a legitimate staff. I mean, I, 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 am, I am just shocked by this staff that we're putting together. Although I know people said we had money. Although people said that Mario was going to do what he's doing. I just got to be honest and just say I'm shocked. Now, we got Josh Gaddis as our offensive coordinator, and that was one of the reasons Frank came to Miami, not only because he had a strong relationship um, with Mario, not only because he's worked with Mario, not only because he gets to work with Tyler Van Dyke, well, because he'll get to work under Josh Gaddis, who is an offensive coordinator who just recently won the Bros Award. So he's still trying to get better at his craft, still trying to work at his craft, and now Mario has a backup plan. You say a backup plan. If Harbaugh would have went to the Minnesota Vikings, Michigan was most likely going to promote Josh Gaddis as a head coach. It would not surprise me if next year, Josh Gaddis is either spoken to interviewed as a head coach, or he goes to become a head coach as a next uh, uh, at another program. Well, we got his replacement right here. We got his replacement right here. Frank signed a two-year deal to be with Miami. But you've got to assume that if Josh Gaddis, a man who just won the Bros Award, a man who's going to be looking for a head coaching job soon, if he decides to dip after one year, Mario won't have to look that far because he'll have Frank right there. That is the biggest thing about this hire. I got to be honest with you guys. I don't even know if this video is making sense because I am legitimately shocked. I, I just can't believe it. Just like the other day, I was shocked about Jamal Adai getting hired on this staff. You want to know what I thought about that hire? Make sure you check out the video on the screen. And also, guys, check out your boy on Twitch. It's lit. 